In the meantime, students in one East County School District may return to their version of their classrooms. We are replicating the a a actual school day that our students would normally be in. New at 6, our ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen explains the district's plan for optional learning inside a pod on school grounds. When the governor's orders pointed to distance learning for local schools, Alpine Union School District Superintendent Rich Newman says the feedback from parents came quickly, though the district took pride in their virtual classes. Concerns for the future for their children and the learning loss their students were facing. Those specific concerns, familiar ones, from access to computers and internet access, social isolation and distraction, to parents' work schedules. So the district came up with a plan. So we are replicating the a a actual school day that our students would normally be in. Newman says they'll be offering up space for free at schools, from gyms and classrooms to outdoor space for 12 student learning pods. Each pod will be supervised by one parent each day. The parents divvy out their shifts within the group. Fill out a facilities use agreement, just like a sports league would or anybody else would that allows them on campus. They'll sign a waiver. The district won't be just providing space. Students will have access to computers and tutors, both in person and online. Newman says the pods will follow state COVID guidelines, including social distancing and mandatory masks for third grade and above. It allows our parents to once again return to work and know that their child has a safe place to be and support for their distance learning. The district also plans to expand its current before and after school care into a 10 and a half hour day with similar learning pods. Between the two programs, they hope to reach 100% of families needing help. We hope to leave our students and our parents through this process with uh, a sense of normalcy. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. Classes begin August 24th. Newman says they have consulted attorneys who say that their plans fall within state guidelines. Now, late this afternoon, a county spokesperson told us they believe the plan would not be allowed, but they will seek clarification from state officials.